Hey everyone, we are going to finish working on practice sheet 14. And as we start this, I just wanted to show you something in your Google Classroom. If you're in person, you have a copy of this. And now, if you're at home, you have a copy as well. And it's where it says blank copy of journal notes. So right here, this is just a kind of a short version of what we did the other day in taking notes on angle pairs, okay? So this shows you the picture, the name, and the end point. Down here, these all say congruent because this angle is equal to this angle. So whatever this side is, you set it equal to this side, okay? So I just wanted to make sure you know there is a picture of this for us to use. I think it's a good quick reference guide. So. With that, we're going to look at number six. So first of all, look at this angle pair, okay? Notice it looks very much like this. Remember, straight, S 180, okay? So this is worth like half credit for each part. So the top part, we're going to put supplementary. Okay, if I were being really good, I would put supplementary angles. Now it says, what is the value of x? So remember, s, remember that makes it 8 for 180. So I am going to just do this down here, and hopefully I'll find that I have close to enough room. Actually, I'll do it like right here, so this may be in the way, but that's okay. So remember these sum up to 180. So the end point is 180. And then I put this angle, 3x minus 17, plus the other angle, which is 47. Okay. And remember, from here, you can do minus 47, minus 47, plus 17, plus 17, or you can combine these, which for me is good practice for you because it works with integers, because we look at our signs here. This is left, right, different, difference, subtract, so 47 minus 17, I know I can do that in my head, but just in case you can't. 30, okay, 3x, and I'm putting plus equals 180. So I combine these two, it will give me 30, and it's positive because I have more positives than negatives, or I am more to the right than to the left. From this point, I should know how to solve this, right? Minus 30, minus 30. And what do I get on the right side? And then from there, what do we do? X equals 50, right? And if I wanted to check it, I would just substitute it back in here. So, since y'all are awesome enough to be watching here, I'm just going to say x is 50, 3 times 50, minus 17. Well, 3 times 50 is 150. 150 minus 17 is 133. So, this side over here equals 133. 133 plus 47 is 180. So I got it correct. So if you're doing this at home, please make sure you darken your answer so that I can see it. Okay. Okay. I will let you know on number seven, your answer will be a decimal. Okay. I'm not going to do this one. 
I think you can do it by yourself. Okay. Um, which number sets does the number 100 belong? Okay. I want you to think a second. Sorry, the square is in the way. Natural starts with 1, right? So remember, we have our, that inside one. We have natural, which starts with 1. And then as soon as I go to the next one, whole. I always, been, I was saying this to some of y'all this week. That starts with 0. Okay, so it's like it gets, I know it seems like it's getting smaller here, but if you think about it, it actually contains more numbers each time. As soon as I get to the integers, I get negatives with positives. Okay. And as soon as I get to rational, basically guys, every number you know officially right now would be rational. If you know about pi, that's the only exception. Okay. So, basically 100, it belongs to every single category. Okay? Every number you know is rational right now. Every single number, they will not even be asking you about irrational numbers. Okay. So, on number 9, I'm going to start this for you and then you need to finish it up. So, a triangle is very similar to supplementary because it adds to 180. And so I'm trying to model for you. This is the way I want you to write it. I do not want you to write this equation as though you're solving it per se. I want you to write it as though you're setting it up. And what I, what I mean by that is we are trying to get to a sum of 180. That means I'm adding all of these. Okay? So I'm adding, I'm going to always start here. You don't have to. I like to start with x. x plus 45 plus 70. Officially, I'm good with this answer. Okay? Now, just to make sure, if this was, I don't know, on any kind of test, they might have this kind of simplified a little bit by combining these. Notice those are same. Same sum add. Okay, and so either one of these is good for your answer for me, okay? So then when I go down here, we know we will solve it by subtracting 115 from both sides, right? Okay, and then I'm not going to do this for you, but you can tell this, hopefully you can tell this is an arrow problem, right? So first of all, I can tell if I just want to look at it like this, same, right? Same, sum, add. Or left starts to the left. When I see subtract, it moves to the left again. Same, sum, add to the left. And whatever you get when you sum it up, it will be a negative. I'm going to put a box there. Make sure you darken that negative so I can see it. Good job.